Well, we're headed off to good old Kentucky for some artifact hunting. We found a couple good fields out here, that many good finds, me and Shane. Our cameraman, he, he's the driver today, and hopefully the cameraman. Uh, so, hopefully we find some. We're about three hours out. <laughs> about three hours out from Cincinnati. Four hours. Seven. Seven hours. Fifteen minutes. Over towards where we're hunting. But hope, hopefully we find some good ones. North Bowling Green. North Bowling Green. All right. Well, talk to you later. Okay. You want to say anything? See ya. All right, so here we are. We're live. We got to our first field. It's dry. No rain. No rain. But you know what? We got nothing else to do. We already found this in about five minutes of walking. I just came across this guy. Nice. Nice Nodina, I believe. Nicely flaked. I told you. Didn't I tell you? Yeah, this is... I literally turned off the camera, <laughs> turned left, and said, Oh, wait, what's this? Let's see what this guy is. Ah. Oh, nice. Looks like a... Have to. Yeah. Dude, this is going to be awesome. No rain on this field No yet. rain. <laughs> Finding flakes and stuff like this, I came across a, what I believe to be is a killer base of a pestle. Or it's a... Uh, or it's a... <laughs> Taking a couple stills. Please be a pestle. Hole. Dude, that's a... Uh. Ah, dude, that's killer though. Holy cow. <laughs> Holy! How about that cow. base that I just threw? It almost would have that base. Probably not, but I just found a base of a silt too. <laughs> Holy, cow. Holy cow! All Dude, right. That thing is huge. Killer. Well, here's something. Blade, <laughs> knife, scraper, or is it? I don't know. Uh, no, it's got it's got some. Uh, it's like a base to it, but it's like a. I don't know. It's weird. We'll be back. We're in a great field with excellent visibility and Trevor just found a drill and I already see it as well. This little tip. Oh, that's pretty. Look how well that's made. Yep. Nice. We'll be back. And we're back to American Diggers. <laughs> and here is something that Trevor has just unearthed or found on the surface. Boom, baby! Boom, that's worth about $8,000. Thank you very much. Is it broken now? Look at that. Hold on, I give a good zoom on this. Do that again. Oh, I already was zoomed in. Never mind. You get the idea, folks. Thanks. Dude, look at that. Look. What? The stem. Oh, I get it. The stem. So here's some, uh, here's some live action for you. <laughs> Trevor's, uh, we're walking. There's a barn up here. And uh, Trevor's like, holy cow, here comes a farmer, because he's plowing. So, and then we look down, and like, here's the farmer right there plowing. You see the whole thing. He said, oh, look, here it comes. So we're going to wait a minute to open this up. up. They just picked it up. It's a big clump. He tried to move it. It was loose. Hold on. Let's do it quick. Ready? Hold on. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> that is I saved it from the plow. Show me where the plow is. The plow is right over there. Alright, well that is killer. We'll Trevor claims he just found a nice one as it's getting dark here. We're wrapping up. Oh yeah, look at this one. This is beautiful. Hold on. Hold on. Let me show you this Killer. Killer. <laughs> hey guys, it's uh, 11 or 3 <laughs> on Friday. This guy just uh, let us <laughs> come out and check this field out. <laughs> so. He thinks we're <laughs> nuts. He told us to go ahead and drive through it with the lights on. Might find something, so we're... <laughs> well, I'm up. 6.17. I don't know. It's hard to sleep in a car, but there's Shane. 
in the car sleeping. Well, I hope I find something, but these fields we've been hunting are completely no rain, but we're still finding stuff in them. So, but we're going to some good ones today. Just wanted to check these ones, see if they plowed them again, and they did. So, it's going to be nice. Talk to you later. So here we are, this day. I think it's a broken pit though. All right. There's one. Yeah, we see two. We see this one over here. There's my footprints. Hold I didn't on. plant these. There's one right over there. Holy cow, that's a big <laughs> one. Let's. Broken. Why has it got to be broken? <laughs> Kill a. Broken. <laughs> wow. Stumbled upon a old historical house site or something. Lots of debris, some glass and stuff, but uh, can't miss this thing. Right next to their button, they lost, probably in the war. No, I'm just kidding. It's right here. Killer archaic piece. Hopefully find more. Talk to you later. Holy cow. <laughs> Not as good as Trevor's. Shocker there. <laughs> but you know what? I'll take it. We'll be back. <laughs> Just walked up on truck and truck. <laughs> Just walked up on this Fort Payne. Now we gotta walk all this. Yeah, snap base Kirk. I don't know what it is. Oh, <laughs> it's horrible on the other side. <laughs> you see that and you're like, oh, that's pretty killer. And then you, oh, so it had a rough life. I'm in a spot I never thought to look at. Just flying through so I get to the other part of the field and broke. But voila, would have been a big tip. Oh, that's a big tip. But... All right, well, hopefully find someone else. All right, so here's one I just found. It's really nice. I'm going to keep looking. Over and out. Just came across this little fella. Oh, well, I'm not going to disturb him. You get the idea. We're in uh, rural Kentucky today. We're having some slight problems. Road construction. They're doing some road construction here. Having some problems getting to our field. <laughs> wow. Wow. What? Hey, buddy. Got a whole pack of them. Oh. Uh. Alright, we gotta Watch. go. We gotta go. We gotta go. <laughs> he's running, he's running, he's running out of your car. Hurry up. So we're in this next field on a whim. We just found the owner. He was a field over working, mowing. And our car is right over by that red house. And uh he says, You're welcome to look, but we aren't you aren't gonna find any arrowheads. And we've made it, you know, about fifty feet into the field. There's that. What else? Let's see your other one. No, I didn't pick it up yet. Oh, I found this. And then we got this. And then we got Look this. But you aren't gonna find another arrowhead in that field. You aren't gonna find any. And then we just found this too. Hold on. Boyle's chert. Beautiful. Yeah. We'll have so scraper. We're gonna stop All right, right. right now but and uh not find any more arrowheads in this field. Not really. Alright. Nice I don't think you're gonna find any arrowheads in this field. <clears throat> No, it's not big, but this is this is my uh. Touch it yet. All right, look at that. Gotta run over here for nothing. See the ear? Yep. Knock that out. You want me to? You want to? Go ahead. <laughs> oh, don't be broken. Don't be broken. I won't tell you. Here. 
Oh, it looks loose. Holy cow. Just take it look, out. It's look. all good. No. Still hitting oh. it. Dang. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Holy oh my cow. god. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> That's a Thebes, dude, or a Big Sandy. Uh, is it ground? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Dude. That's the best arrowhead I think I've ever found. It's the most I'm complete. I'm cleaning this one. Go ahead. <sighs> oh, what a day. You aren't going to find any arrowheads in this field. And this is what I found about half an hour ago. Another nice little killer. That is amazing. Here you go. Here, let me, let's do a close-up. Dude, that's completely... Let's do this for Rich and Dean. Do it. There you go. Oh, yeah, right, just like that. Dude, that's perfect. That is immaculate. Oh, that's the best arrowhead I've ever found. That'd be one of the best I ever found if I found it. All right, that is that is what it's all about, my friends. Holy cow! I saw that and I looked up. I was about ten feet away and I just saw the base and I went, "Oh, killer! Get over here, Trevor!" <laughs> you can't get any more. Perfect it almost looks like Novaclite or whatever they call that. Uh, Noviculite. Noviculite. But we're in there you go, buddy. Kentucky. All right, we'll be back. Oh, wow! So I just put this up on uh, Facebook. Here it is after a little field cleaning dried off. Looks just like naviculite. Um, and then Trevor, we're about, I don't know, 100 feet away. And I'm turning into a uh, hafted scraper finder. Yeah. <laughs> Another hafted scraper. Nice. You Five hafted scrapers. Need a frame now for all these. We'll be back. Here, here's our weekend find. So let's start with this killer. It is a nice stemmed Adina. Pretty sure it's stemmed. It's hard to tell. I say it's stemmed. Because we found lots of long stem points. Some Sonora flint. Real shiny. Lots and lots of hafted scrapers. I think we got a total of like six or seven half the scrapers. Uh, Brokes, this was a, would have been a killer. This would have been a huge guy. We're driving, sorry for the bumpy. Yeah, we're driving. This is beautiful. I was trying to get him traded for my Sonora piece. What should he do, guys? I collect Carter Cave, Adina. <laughs> He collects Nora. What should we do? You let him know. Also, this killer. <laughs> Until you turn it over. <laughs> Until you turn it over. Still a killer, though. I appreciate it. Uh, Shane does, too. He's just in shock right now, still. With his find. Tons of bits and pieces and whatnot. That would have been huge. This would have been a killer. Ground base. Maybe a Clovis. I don't know. Another, My first lost leg. Another half the scraper. Then let's move on. We've got some stuff up there. Some brokes. Just mid sections. Some stuff down there. Mid sections. Well, then, got a busted back of a selt that I might have the rest of. Shane's going to give it to me. It's a check. <laughs> then Shane found this puppy. Dun, 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 dun. Broken. Oh, that sucked. It really sucked. It was a giant pestle. I mean, look at it on my hand. Giant. But the last point Shane found, literally... Is this? Killer. I say intrusive mound. Big sandy. It's not Grace's ground. background barely, but I say intrusive mound. Look at this thing. There is not one freaking nick took out of this thing. He would like some help on the ID of the flint. And the type, for that matter. And type. Is it a convict's big sandy, or is it an intrusive mound? 
So, well, it was Jack's Reef. nice hunting. Well, I guess I'll put together all the holes. There's all his holes. And there's all my holes, if you count half the scrapers. <laughs> but they don't count. They go in my frames. They're nice, but not for our contest. Alright. Talk to you later. This is... Shane. The, 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 the intrusive mound detective. Yes. If you want to hire him, if you got intrusive mounds in your fields, he'll come and get them for yes. you and find out where they're at. Search and rescue. Alright, talk to you later.